When you take a closer look at one of the most famous and famously pricey paintings in Australia's national collection, you realise it's more than just paint and canvas. Staples, cardboard and even cigarette butts are hidden through the work. You see how textured that paint is and the, you can see the cluster of glass and then the paint dribbled across it. Blue Poles is the National Gallery's biggest draw card, so finding the time to take it off the walls for restoration is difficult. But COVID-19 presented a unique opportunity. With the doors to the gallery temporarily closed, the meticulous work of inspecting how it's aged got underway. It's probably one of the most well-documented works of art, but during this period, we're learning even more. When Australia bought Blue Poles in 1973, its fierce style and then astronomical price tag caused some outrage. But a sense of excitement was also brewing, with the nation entering a bold new era. That price tag of $1.3 million looks absolutely piddling now. It needs to be brought back to its sparkling condition. In the social media age, the work of conservators has been highlighted as never before, sometimes for the wrong reasons. But many admire the work that's required. I think what people forget is that paintings are made of organic material, canvas, wood, oil, and they all age like every organic material. Do you feel nervous when you step in <laughs> and start touching blue poles? Um, yeah, you try not to think about that. I've always loved this work. Yeah, I look forward to really working with it on a minute level. Exacting detail to ensure continued mass appeal. Eloise Fuss, ABC News.